Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make these cool animated text effects over video playing in the background. So let's jump into it. As always, the first thing we'll do is go to File, Blank Presentation, right click, Layout Blank. Now let's get the video. I'm going to go to Insert, Video, Stock Videos. And this is the video I started with. You can click on that and click insert. Now we'll just align it to the top left corner and drag out the bottom corner until it snaps. Now let's add the text. We'll go home, click on the text box, click anywhere on the page, and I'm going to type motion. I'm going to make this white, pop in size 100, and bold. Then we'll align it to the middle and align it to the center of the page. I also adjusted the character spacing on this example. And to do that, we can go to this section that's got AV and the arrows underneath in the font part of the home ribbon. And you can click here to drop down and go to more spacing. And I actually want it to be expanded by 50 point. Now we'll just drag this out so it fits. Realign it to the center. Now we're good to add the animation. So for this first example, I'm adding a T to animation and setting it to animate by letter. So let's click on the word, go to animations, click on T to, then click on animation pane. And when we double click on the actual text, we get options. And one of them is to animate text by letter. So I'll click OK on that. And you can see that's the effect I used. We also need to make sure that it starts with the video. And to do that, we'll make sure the text is selected in the animation pane and we'll go up to start and we'll choose with previous. So now when we play that, it animates with the video background. There's our first animation done. I'm going to quickly paste in some other videos to show you some more great examples. So I'll just paste in my video slides that I had previously to save time. And each one of them has just got the text on with no animation. I'm going to show you how you can animate these in cool different ways and also how you can make the video go onto the next slide before the whole clip is finished by using the trim function. So for this second slide, we're going to do a float in. So we'll click on the text. When we're on the animations part of the ribbon, you can choose float in. And by default, that floats in the whole word. But if we double click on the text in the animation pane, again, we can choose by letter. And we'll just have this on 10% delay. We'll click OK. Great. And now we'll put start with previous again, same as before. So the video will play and the text will come in with previous. That's great. Let's show you some more examples. So on this slide, we're going to add a zoom by letter. So we'll click on the text the animation part of the ribbon, we're going to choose zoom. It will default to zooming in on the whole word, but we can go to the animation pane, double click on the text box and choose animate text by letter. For timing, we're going to make this duration one second and press OK. We also need to make sure it starts with previous, so it starts with the video. Great. For this example, we're going to use a really fast blink to get a strobe-like effect. So we'll click on the text, we'll click on this drop-down box here to go to more, and the blink is actually an emphasis, but it's not in here, so we go to more emphasis effects, and you can see there that it says blink under exciting. So we'll click on that, and click OK. Now we can double click, and in the effect settings, we can go to animate text by letter, and in the timing, to get the strobe-like effect, we're going to make sure the duration is extremely fast. So it goes down to 0.5 seconds here, but you can actually just click in here and type 0.1. And we'll also repeat until end of slide. We can also adjust this to go with previous, which does the same thing as doing it in the timing box over here. With previous. Great, there's our strobe-like effect. On our final example, we're going to use a font color effect to change the font color really quickly and I'm going to show you a tip on how you can choose any color for that. So we'll click on the text, we'll go to add animation and we'll choose 
font color. That would just default to a font color up here under effect options. And you can see that you can't actually type in a custom color in this box, but there is a way to do it. So I'd actually like to use one of the colors in this actual video background. And to do that, we can just draw any shape and we can go to the eyedropper tool and then I can move this anywhere and it will get the color I want to use. I'll pick this one. Now when I go to shape fill and more fill colors, there's actually a hex value for this color. We can press Control C to copy that. Now close this box down and delete this because we don't need it anymore. And then when we double click on the animation pane, you can choose the font color in here and you can go to more colors in this option. Now we can simply select the hex and paste in our color value and then we can press OK. So now that's going to use the color that I picked from the video background. I also want to make it animate by letter. I'll go into the timing section. Again, I want this very fast, so I'm going to use 0.1 seconds and I'm going to choose to repeat until the end of slide and start with previous. Now we'll press OK. You can see that's a cool looking, very fast animated effect. You can adjust this to any speed you like the look of that suits the material you're working with. So for example, we could go to timing. We could actually make this a bit slower if we wanted to, such as half a second, and you could see the effect happen more slowly. And finally, I'm gonna show you how you can use trim video to automatically be able to play through these slides without having to click advance. So we'll click on the first slide, we'll go to transitions. We'll make sure that in the advanced slide section, the after box is ticked on. And at the moment, it will actually wait till it plays the entire video and then advance. But if we right click on the video and choose trim, you can drag this red bar down to wherever you want. So if I wanted it to be two seconds, I might type 0, 0, 0, 2. And now after two seconds, that will automatically advance to the next slide. And we can just quickly apply that to the other videos. Right click, trim, in this box, type two. Great, so now when we play that from the start, it will all happen automatically. That's a really good tip for when you're using video over multiple slides, you can make the presentation into one continuous piece. Now let's play from the start and see what we've got. Great, so that's a really good way of using the by letter and the speed to make cool looking video effects. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you wanna see more, please hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.